Hello and welcome to Doris CCTV. In today's video, we will show you how to add IP camera into a Hikogen DVR. First, we will add a Hikogen IP camera, and then we will show you how to add Ezeviz Wi Fi camera into a DVR. As you can see in the picture, you can connect the IP camera into a PoE switch or a power supply. If camera is connected into a PoE switch, then make sure to connect the PoE switch into the internet router. Also, the DVR must be connected into the same PoE switch or internet router. If you are using a power supply, then make sure the IP camera is connected to same internet router as the DVR is connected into. Let's go to the DVR to see what we need to do. Okay, on the DVR we need to make sure the DHCP is enabled. To do that right-click with mouse to bring up the menu. From the top menu, click on the system. And then from the left hand side menu, click on Network. And tick the DHCB box to make it enabled. If it's already ticked, then you can leave it as it is. As you can see, our DVR have a new IP address from the internet router. There are two ways to add the IP camera now first, through the SADP software tool, second, through the DVR menu. We will show you first how to do the basic settings on the camera. Let's go to computer. First we need to download SADP tool. The link of the software is available on our website www.doristv.co.uk. Once you are on the website, go to technical. And from the drop down box menu select software and tools. You can see the link here. We already installed the software. Once you open the software, SADP tool will find all the Hikogen devices in the local network. The first device is our DVR, and second one is the IP camera. All Hikogen brand new cameras showing inactive when you connect it first time into the internet router. That means we need to active the camera by typing the password. Simply select the camera and type in the password you wish to set. Then click on Active. On this page, you can answer the security question. This is good for future to reset the password in case you forgot it. We just click on Cancel. Now you can see the camera is activated, but the IP address on the camera is not in the same range with the DVR. To fix that select the camera and enable the DHCP from here. And type in the IP camera password which is the same as activation password. We can see the changes after refreshing the page. You can write down the camera IP address as we need it later. Now DVR and IP camera are on the same range of IP address. Now let's go to the DVR to show you how to add this IP camera into the DVR. On the DVR from the top menu, you can go to camera in order to add the IP camera by using the IP address. From the left menu, click on IP camera. And then click on custom add. Here you can type the camera IP address. As the camera is Hikogen, we can select the protocol as Hikogen. If you have other brands, you can try using the Onviv protocol and then type in the camera password, which is same as camera activation password. You can click on the eye icon to view the password that you typed in just to avoid the mistake in typing. Then click on add. Now the camera is added successfully and it takes few moment for the image to load. We go to check the live view to check the camera we just added.
If you don't see the new camera click on the split here and select the max number of the windows. New camera showing here and you can drive and drop into a different location. Now we will show you the second option how to add the camera through computer. First we need to remove the IP camera from the list. And then we go to the computer to show you how to add it. On the computer go to SADP tool. Find the DVR and double click on the IP address. Once you are on the login page, type in the DVR username and password. That might take a little bit of time to load the menu. Now click on Configuration. And from the left menu, click on Camera Management. Then click on IP Camera. And click on Add. Same as what we have done in the DVR type in the camera IP address. If you forgot the address, you can find it from the SADP tool. And then type in the IP camera password. And once you are done click on OK. New camera added and you can check the camera status from here. You can refresh page by going to other settings and come back again. There you go. Camera is online now. Let's quickly check the DVR. As you can see here the camera is added and let's check the live view. As you can see the camera working fine on the DVR. Now we will show you how to add Ezzy's camera into the DVR. First you need set up the camera into Ezzy's mobile app and make sure the camera is up and running. Then from the SADP tool find the camera. In our video we are using Ezzy's C8C model same as the picture. Once you have the IP address. You can copy it and add it into the DVR. Login into the DVR and go to Camera Management page and then IP Camera. And click on Add. Here you can paste or type in the camera the IP address. You can select the protocol as Hikvision. And type in the camera password. You can find the camera password from the sticker label on the camera normally shows as verification code. Once you typed in the password it will be added into the list. By refreshing the page you can see the camera is online. Let's go to the DVR to check it. It normally takes few seconds for the camera image to load. The new camera is ready now. One of the common mistake when adding IP cameras into DVR is when the DVR cannot support the camera resolution. That is why you need to check the DVR data sheet to make sure it can support the IP camera resolution. To do that, find the DVR model number and search it on Google. Normally the first link after advertise pages is the Hinkajin.com website. Click on the link and go all the way down until you see the PDF date sheet. Click on it. 
And here on the IP video input page, you can find out the max resolution the DVR can support. In this example, maximum supported resolution is 8 megapixel. And this DVR can support two extra cameras, each 8 megapixel. In the bracket up to 6 channel means, if you disable the analog channels you can have up to 6 channel IP cameras connected into this DVR. We hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.